Oh, I didn't get green peppers. Mm. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Yeah, we're making quesadillas. Do you recognize what's in this yummy thing here? Well, <clears throat> we've got some zucchini, some tomatillo, red peppers, got some yam, red onion, and uh, mushroom. And we're going to throw all that into our skillet here with some, hey, what's going on? With some um, coconut oil. Mm-hmm. This is, this is my feeling for my quesadillas, you guys. Got some black beans going over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to grab some cilantro. And we're going to stuff all of this together with some... I think I'm going to do some smoked gouda. This is really freaking good. Follow your heart. It's a pretty clean cheese alternative without casein, without soy. And uh, we're going to melt this down. I think I'm going to add a little bit of almond cheese as well. Mmm. I'm going to add some um, jalapeno jack almond cheese. I get this from my local health food store. Yeah, yeah. That is good, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So we've got our zucchini, our red peppers, our coconut oil. To that, we're going to throw in some chili powder, a little bit of red pepper. Spice it up a little bit. What type of skillet do you use? Some um, onion powder. This is a stainless steel skillet. A stainless steel skillet. I use stainless steel. I like cast iron. Um, I love glass. And... Um, just transfer its heat really well. They want to know does the cheese melt. And yeah, the cheese melts really, really, really good. And I'm actually going to wrap this all together with some um, whole spelt, organic bakery, Rudy's wraps. Super good. Does the almond cheese have milk fat? Like real milk fat? Girl, it better not. Look. It does. Look, I just bought this today. I've never tried it in my life. <laughs> I did a, a Periscope earlier where we were looking at different cheeses, right? So they had six different cheeses there. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, they have diff like six different cheeses today, right? So I decided to grab these two. Um, I love this one, and it's super clean. This one's not so clean. It's, it's sneaky. Um, what? I can't answer all these questions. <laughs> Let me see. What's this? Hi, hey, how are you? Um, I'm sorry, I'm cooking and I'm trying to <laughs> answer questions. Um, is it possible is to, it use, possible too to use too much? You know, I don't know anybody who would be in the hospital for spell, but um, I think it's possible to use too much of anything. It's kind of like plant-based means eating plants as much as possible. So getting as many fruits and vegetables in the diet is what is key and not like eating spelt bread for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't go super ham on it or, or just anything in general, um, except for fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. Um, we're going to throw some onion powder in there. And we're going to do to have potato in it. Uh, no, no potato starch in the gouda, I don't think. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, it does have potato starch. It does, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm cooking with coconut oil. Yeah, it's got potato starch in it. Yeah, the, any of, anything from the health food store, whether it's the almond milks in the containers, almond cheeses, da non-dairy anything from the health food store, it's not a health food, you know what I'm saying? It is an alternative food. It's something that you eat when you don't want to eat crap that's, you know, dairy. So don't, don't, you know, I tell people all the time, you know, chickpea miso, for example, I love it but it's not considered a health food. It's first still fermented, and um, it's still something that's processed and chill. You know, this is what we want to get our nutrition. Everything else is, you know, an additive, and you do your best. They want to know if that's good with beets. No, it's yam. I don't use beets, guys. No beets. Gonna throw in some oregano. And we're gonna throw in some pink salt and a little bit of 
bit of coriander. I can't go without coriander. Coriander and everything. Okay. So if you guys are just transitioning into vegan or you're going vegan, you're doing the vegan thing, uh, you're running out of ideas, you're running out of things to make, don't be intimidated. Throw together some quesadillas. Super easy. Um, you know, it may not be perfect, but try it. Go for it. Get in there and um, get some salsa and um, get your black beans. Throw this together. Get you some vegan cheese. Some um, Daya is a, is a pretty good brand. Um, yeah, and just get in there. Get in there and get it done. It's better than um, going out to eat crap. <laughs> oh, yeah, smoke sauce the business. Yeah, quesadillas. Get it in. All right, you guys, I'll let you know how this looks when I'm done. Peace.